Well, hi, my name's John Riley. I'm really happy to be here in the Zildjian Lounge and to do some educational lessons for a Zildjian website. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about this book that I wrote, I believe, in 1982 called The Art of Bop Drumming. And um, it's had quite a long life and traveled around the world. And at this point, I think it's available in five or six different languages. And I'm really flattered by the success that it's had and the reception that it's gotten from drummers around the world. Uh, I'm often asked, how did I begin writing the book? And you see this man's name on the cover, Dan Tress. He was a student of mine. And at the same time, he was supplementing his income by working at the Drummers Collective. And he said the Drummers Collective and DCI Music and uh, their music video division started making books. And he asked me to help proofread some of these books and do some transcribing for some of that stuff. And then one day he said, you know, the lessons I'm taking with you, uh, there's nothing like that out there. What do you think about writing a book? He said, I think if you write it, I, because of my relationship with uh, Drummers Collective and what became Manhattan Music, I think I can get it published. So I put the book together, and in the original manuscript, I did it in pencil. And I wrote out all the exercises in pencil, and Dan Tress, with, a, with uh, his word processing skills, uh, he typed everything up, and then we, we cut these pieces of text together and inserted paper with the, the manuscript in them and built the book actually by hand, the old school way. And I still, I still have copies of these different incarnations of the book. So Dan Tress was really valuable in inspiring me to write the book and in helping me assemble it. Now, the original book I wrote was actually this book, plus Beyond Bop Drumming. And when we began to think about publishing it, it seemed like it was too much material to put into one book, so I split it in half. And that's uh, a little bit of the history of this. And what, what people seem to appreciate are the exercises have a musical context to them, and the text gives you some information about why you should practice the stuff and how it's used in a musical, musical way. So I always hear people, including non-drummers, saying, you know, I, looked, I read through your book and I really appreciated the words in there in giving me a context for why I should practice something and how I can use it. And so um, that seemed to strike a nerve with, with uh, people as a source of information that they couldn't find elsewhere. Uh, so I'm really happy to have that success and to be able to share some of this information with you through the Zildjian website.